Hi, I'm Judy with Amazing Trails Yoga. Today's practice offers a well-rounded routine with an added bonus of arm and leg strengtheners intermingled with deep stretches to strengthen and lengthen as you enjoy rounding your way through each asana, having hiked around Cascade Lake, New York State. reclined butterfly with the soles of our feet together and laying on our backs. We'll take some nice breaths into our bodies and out. Feeling the breath in, out as it leaves our bodies. We'll inhale our arms up overhead and bringing our knees together exhale down and open our knees inhale up closing our knees exhale down opening inhale up overhead our knees together exhale down on the inhale we'll take our knees together our arms are overhead exhale as we touch our heels to the one side inhale back up exhale to the other side inhale up exhale touching our heels if we can inhale up exhale inhale exhale to the side inhale exhale to the side bringing our knees up toward the sky we'll straighten our left leg grab a strap a belt anything you like i have a strap just to keep it handy Bring your knee in and we'll make nice knee circles one way. And then the other way, opening up our hips, getting ourselves ready for today's practice. When it comes by your chest, take your strap to the sole of your foot. You can straighten your leg at any length you like. Play with it a little bit, bring it closer to you, straightening your leg. Taking the strap in either hand, you'll take your, your foot over to the left, to the center, just a little bit. You can feel the stretch right in your IT band. Take the strap in your right hand and we're going to open up over to the right, keeping your left hip down. We don't want to turn with your leg. If your leg is up here, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you could put your left hand on your left hip, keeping it down. Bring your right leg up. Take the strap in your left hand as you extend your right arm out to the side and you could bring your left, cross it over in front. However far down you like it, it does not matter. Nice early spinal twist, a good stretch on the legs. We'll be strengthening the legs, really working the legs. And bring your leg up, take the strap away. We're switching legs, your right leg is extended, left leg bent, we're making some nice hip circles. With your knee, we're making big circles one way and the other way, around and around. When it comes up by your chest, take your strap, 
Put it at the sole of your foot. You're straightening your leg. Bring it closer to you, back and forth. Play with it, whatever's comfortable. Take the staff in either hand and you're bringing your foot across your body just a couple inches. Feel that nice little stretch just from that small, small movement. Take the strap in your left hand and bring your left foot over to the left. Your right hand can go on your right hip, your right pelvic bone, keeping it down so you're not turning with the foot. Does not matter how open you are. You could be up here, whatever is nice for you. Take some nice deep breaths in. foot up. We'll take the strap in the other hand as we cross our leg over our bodies to the right. Look over your left side. Looking up to the sky, we'll bring our left leg around and bend it. Say goodbye to your strap for a little while and we're coming up into a tabletop. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. You could look through your legs and maybe not see your feet and we'll do a couple cat-cows to limber up the spine. We'll inhale with our shoulders back and exhale. Inhale and exhale, rounding the spine, inhale, and exhale. When you come to a flat back, extend one leg out at a time and we're in a plank. And here we go for some nice arm strengtheners. We're coming down into Chaturanga. Touch your nose and then your chin to the mat. Come over the top of your feet into upward facing dog, over your feet again, and we're in a plank. And we're coming down, nose, chin. You can keep your feet just like this. You don't have to keep going back and forth. And we'll do one more time. Nose, chin, upward facing dog, and in a plank. And this will take a little rest. We're bending our legs at the knees, coming into a child pose. Really working the arms a lot, so we'll bring them back behind us. Touch maybe the back of your head, the nape of your neck, your shoulder blades. Extending your arms, and we're coming back into the plank. And we go down for chaturanga, nose, chin, Upward facing dog and plank. Down to chaturanga. Upward facing dog and plank. And one more time. Nose, chin, chaturanga. Upward facing dog and plank. Very nice. From this we're going to drop our hips, come over the tops of your feet. Give yourselves a nice stretch, limber up the spine a bit more. Maybe you could look behind you at your heels. Nice, and come over the tops of your feet into plank. We'll go through one more series. So it's chaturanga, nose, chin, upward facing dog, and plank. Down again for chaturanga, upward facing dog, and plank. And one more time, chaturanga, nose, chin, upward facing dog, and plank. We'll bend our knees at the heels, come into a nice child pose. From child pose, we'll lift our left shoulder, take our right arm down and through, palm up to the sky, we'll thread the needle. Give your arms a nice stretch, we really worked them. Take some nice deep breaths. Mm. 
lifting your left shoulder up a bit. We'll unthread the needle and thread the needle on the other side, left side. Lifting your shoulders, we'll unthread the needle, extend our arms out, and make our way up into a downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we'll come into a plank, and the same thing, only a little bit higher this time, a little more intense. We're coming down into a chaturanga, upward facing dog, and right away into a downward facing dog. We round into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. One more time, we round into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, this is your resting position. Maybe you could pedal your feet. And we'll do the series again. We round into plank, chaturanga, elbows in, connecting to your sides, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. We round into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Round into plank, chaturanga, Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Again, our resting position, you could pedal your feet out. Maybe lift your heels and drop them toward the mat. One more time, we'll round into plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Round into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Last time, we round into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, bend your legs. We're coming into a tabletop. Take your hands so that your fingers are facing toward you a bit closer to your thighs and sit back on your heels give your arms a nice stretch we really worked our arms a lot making them stronger give them a good good stretch and we come up you could shake them around a bit Get the blood circulating. And we come back into the tabletop, into the plank and downward facing dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands. We're coming into a forward fold into ragdoll. So take your hands to opposite elbows. You could sway from side to side. Make your way slowly up into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Now we'll work the legs a bit. As we drop our seats, we're coming into a chair and a forward fold. Halfway up Ardha Uttanasana, forward fold. Take both your hands. We're going to keep our block handy. Take both your hands to the sides of your feet and take your left leg back. Very, very nice. We're coming up into a high lunge. From high lunge, you're bringing our arms around behind us and up. Around behind us and up. And one more time, around behind us. When we get behind, take your fingers, interlace your fingers behind your leg Draw your arms back a bit, straightening your arms. Your chest forward, you're opening up your heart.
and now we're going to do humble warrior as we drop our right shoulder to the inside of our knee our heel down to the mat and we're coming into a humble warrior opening up our shoulders our back and we're coming back up into a high lunge without missing a beat our arms come around dropping your left knee to the mat and uh, around drop your left knee toward the mat and up and one more time we're coming around put the palms of your hands together interlace your fingers we're coming into humble warrior dropping the heel and the right shoulder to the inside of your right knee the crown of your head comes toward the floor Maybe you could straighten your right leg. And when you come back up, you're bending your right leg, staying down and opening right up into a warrior two. From warrior two, we're straightening our arms and our right leg and back to warrior two. Straighten and back to warrior two. Straighten, keep straight your right leg. You're going to keep straight your left arm up toward the sky, bringing your right, your left arm up toward the sky, bringing your right arm around. You could maybe place it on your block. We're coming into Trikonasana triangle at any length or perhaps all the way down. Feels really nice. And then we are bending our right leg, tapping the ground from side to side, coming up and around, and tap, tap, up and around. Tap, get your block, bring it over to the side, and we'll end up in a high crescent facing the other way. Very nice, we bring our arms around behind as we drop our right knee toward the mat and up. Around and down and up. One more time, around and down. Take your hands together, interlace your fingers. Maybe you could straighten your arms, bring them down your leg a little bit. And we're dropping our heel to the mat as we take our left shoulder to the inside of our left knee, humble warrior dropping the crown of our head toward the mat, straightening our arms, and coming up into a high lunge. Our arms come around as we drop our right knee to the mat, and up, around, dropping your right knee, and up, around dropping your right knee take your fingers interlace your fingers clasp your palms of your hands together we are simultaneously dropping our heel as we take our left shoulder to the inside of our left knee crown of our head toward the mat maybe you can straighten your left leg Bending your left leg, we're coming up and around right into a warrior two. Straighten your arms and left leg and warrior two. Straighten your arms and left leg and warrior two. One more time, I think I gave you an extra one. Straighten your arms and your left leg and we're bringing your left arm around, going for the block if you like, any height that you like, or no block at all, whatever's good for you. And we're bending our left leg, touching the mat, coming to the other side, up and around, touch, touch, up and around, and then you're going to grab your mat, touch, touch, and we face the side of the mat coming up into a war, into high crescent, high lunge, 
and bring your left leg back to meet your right in chair and Tadasana. From this you're going to grab your strap one last time and we're really opening up our arms so why not open them a little more we're really loosened in lumber or limber rather take your strap or your belt whatever you have a necktie you're going to keep the strap rather taut the palms of your hands are toward the mat grasping the strap you're straightening your arms and you're bringing them up overhead you might want to lengthen it a little bit more and right behind you and we come back up and around this really opens up the rotator cuff it's really good for you feels so nice very nice the strap should be taut good if you want to make it easier lengthen it maybe you want to take your hands a little bit closer up and around we shouldn't be bending your arms if you have to bend your arms and your hands are too close together we'll do it one more time and down very nice come to the side of your mat we're inhaling our arms up dropping our seat in chair and forward fold halfway up Ardha Uttanasana forward fold with hands on either sides of your feet you're inhaling your left leg back coming up into a high crescent it's rather windy today we're getting the tail end of a hurricane Hurricane Ian Take your arms around behind you as you drop your left knee toward the mat and up Around down and up Around take the palms of your hands together interlace your fingers Dropping your heel to the mat as you take your right shoulder toward the inside of your foot humble warrior dropping the crown of your head we'll straighten our front leg bend your leg and we're coming up and around automatically into warrior two straighten your arms and front leg and down straighten your arms and front leg and down Straighten your arms and front leg and this time we'll keep our left hand up toward the sky leaning forward we're coming into trikonasana grab the block and if you weren't using it you might want to have it this time because we're going right into a half moon we're bending our front leg take the block a little ways in front of you toward the pinky toe side of your foot and we're coming into half moon we're bending our right leg as we come down into a lateral lunge skandhasana and this time you can maybe sit back a bit and here's a really good leg strengthener we could walk over to the other side helping ourselves or not helping ourselves as we go to the other side you could walk holding on or without it open up your left arm extend your right arm and to the other side open your right arm extend your left and over toward the right open up this time we're going to bring our arms around behind so you're, you start in front of your right leg but you bring your arms around your right leg when we unclasp our hands we're bringing the block unless you were smart enough to have two blocks one on each side and we're bringing it around to the left open up your arms bring your arms around behind you maybe you could clasp behind you interlace your fingers and 
very nice. Unclasping your hands, you'll bring your arms around behind and we're in a low lunge. Coming up into the high lunge without missing a beat, bring your arms around behind you, drop your knee and up. Around behind you, drop your knee and up. Around behind, drop your knee. Take the palms of your hands together, interlace your fingers. Maybe you could draw your hand down your back, leg, opening up your chest. We're taking your right heel to the mat, your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee, coming into a humble warrior, arms up overhead. Maybe you can straighten your left leg. Bend your left leg. We're coming up and around into warrior two. Straighten your left leg, your arms up and warrior two. Straighten your arm and your leg and warrior two. Straighten your arm and leg. Keep your right arm up as we lean forward and we're coming down with our left arm. I'm going to grab the block to have handy. Trikonasana. Bending your left leg at the knee. Take the block toward the pinky toe side of your foot a little ways out as we come up into a half moon. And bending your left leg, we'll come down into the lateral lunge into Skandasana. Make your way over to the right. Come on over to the left, open up your arms diagonally. Back to the right. Opening up your arms. Back to the left. Open up your arms. Bring your arms around behind you. Make the bind if you can. You could always use your strap. And we'll make our way over to the right. Opening your arms. Your arms come around behind you. Clasp them together if you can. You could always use your strap to hold one side to the other. And we're coming down onto our seat. Bring your right leg around behind. We're in Paschimottanasana. Sitting nice and upright, our legs right in front of us. You could point your toes up to the sky. Maybe take your block so that one leg is not in front of the other, that they're totally even. We're going to inhale our arms up. Exhale down. I'm going to grab my block. You could hold on to whatever you like, whatever you could reach. Maybe drop the crown of your head toward your feet. We're coming up. We'll bend our legs at the knees. Make our way down to our back. We'll work our abs a little bit. So we're coming into a C shape. We'll take our arms and we'll do some crunches. We'll go three, two, one, down, down. Three, two, one, down, down. Three, two, one, down, down. Take a nice breath in and again. Three, two, one, down, down. Three, two, one, down, down. Three, two, one, down, down. Take a nice breath. You could drop your legs if that's good for you. 
And one last, last set of sea crunches. One, two, three, down, down. Three, two, one, down, down. One, two, three, down, down. Very nice. Take your legs down to the ground and we're going to kind of end up like where we started. You're going to bring your arms up overhead, drop your knees to the left, bring your arms around to the right, touch your heels. And this time we're going to stay and just take a nice breath in and out. Bring your arms up overhead as we bring our knees to the sky and the other way. Take a nice breath in and out. Our arms are coming up and we're bringing our knees over to the left, your heels to the right and touch. Swing around and touch might be a little easier than when we started. Swinging around, swinging around. Bring your knees up toward the sky. Your heels are together and you're going to splay your knees out to the side. We'll end up in Shavasana, which is the nice resting pose, but we'll be in Supta Baddha Konasana as we take our final breaths in, out. Let your body sink to the ground. Let your bodies absorb all if they have done. You could always take your blocks to rest your knees. If you want to be more comfortable, you can straighten one leg at a time. Okay, I think I might stay in the Supta Baddha Konasana. beginning to wake our bodies up. Maybe put your knees together, move your knees from side to side. Bring your knees up into your chest, hands on your knees, make little hip circles one way, the other way. Make your way any way you want to come up into a cross-legged position. Palms of your hands together. Thank you so much for joining Amazing Trails Yoga for our well-rounded yoga. Please subscribe to us, like us, we love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.